Do you believe Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, or Bernard Arnault are simply wealthy? They have long gone beyond being rich. They are now legendary, second only to the wealthiest people in human history. Let's see how they interact with such a large crowd. Jeff Bezos is number 13. Jeff Bezos is among the wealthiest people in the grand scope of fortune throughout history. Being the 13th richest person in the world is not very inspirational. However, $139 billion will only get you so far. To put this in context, Bezos' wealth dwarfs Bill Gates's and Warren Buffett's, both legendary figures in their own right. What does one do with a fortune like this? It appears that Jeff Bezos enjoys the better things in life. Then there's his dazzling engagement to Emmy-winning journalist Lauren Sanchez, which has added a touch of Hollywood's glitz to his life. Of course, this followed his high-profile divorce from Mackenzie Scott, who walked away with $36 billion. The alimony checks are made of pure platinum, but Bezos' interests extend beyond personal relationships. He has multi-million dollar mansions in Beverly Hills, Manhattan, and Washington State. His 165,000-acre Mays Estate in Texas also acts as the headquarters for his aerospace firm, Blue Origin. Talk about a swanky launch pad! Speaking of Blue Origin, Bezos isn't satisfied with earthly comforts. He set his sights on the stars. He invests a billion dollars a year in his space exploration company and has even realized his childhood ambition of being a space entrepreneur. Remember when he, his brother, and others went on a brief space adventure in the New Shepard spacecraft? That is different from your typical vacation destination. But hold on, there's more. Bezos has his fingers in several pies, including ownership of the Washington Post and investments in various internet businesses. He's also dabbled in philanthropy, contributing large sums to causes near and dear to his heart. That is one element that distinguishes Jeff from most of our entries today. But before we get to the absurdly wealthy people of the past, consider another recent billionaire who will undoubtedly go down in history as one of the richest people of all time. Elon Musk is ranked 12th. Time, Elon Musk. If one individual demonstrates that the sky is not the limit, nor are the stars, it is Elon Musk. The South African youngster who grew up among the wealthiest people in history is now the great ruler of SpaceX, Tesla, and many other firms that make our lives easier. Musk is more than a $191 billion billionaire. He's a visionary, a dreamer, and, to be honest, a bit obnoxious. Oh, come on, you have $191 billion, yet live in a $50,000 matchbox like a hermit? Musk has a thing for technology, so he's spending where it counts. Few of us, for example, can boast of sending our sports automobile into space. You read that correctly. Musk's cherry red Tesla Roadster is orbiting the Earth perpetually, a celestial pleasure ride for all eternity, a space enthusiast's dream come true. So, I'm curious when he'll ship his dollhouse to Mars, which he calls his house. Nonetheless, for a man who works up to 84 hours per week, luxury is not among his top priorities. That's unusual for a guy who earns almost $45 million every hour. Elon still likes the basic pleasures of life, such as reading a book, watching his favorite show, or playing video games with his children. And how can you blame him? Who doesn't want to live such a straightforward existence? For starters, is anyone else on our list? Take Alan the Red for example. If you remember one thing from history, Alan the Red, it should be that conquests were immensely beneficial back in the day. Not just for the leaders of the conquering army, but also for their loyal followers. Consider Alan Rufus, also known as the Red. Alan's fortune came from a promising source. He was William the Conqueror's close friend during the Norman conquest of England. He was given large territories and titles as a reward for his courageous service. His wealth was rooted in these lush English territories, and he swiftly became one of the wealthiest barons of his day. At the time of his death, his wealth was equal to 7% of the England national income, nearly translating to $194 billion in today's money. When it came to living the high life, Alan the Red didn't skimp. He was famous for his extravagant feasts, exotic pets, and a wardrobe that would make today's fashionistas green with envy. His lavish lifestyle was legendary, setting a standard for extravagance that few could equal. Alan's prosperity, however, diminished as time passed. 
His riches were divided among his descendants after his death and dispersed across generations. At the same time, he is not as well known now as some of his contemporaries, such as William the Conqueror or Henry I. Alan the Red's name is nevertheless associated with ancient wealth and luxurious living. Yet, in the broad scheme of things, Alan the Red is only a reasonably affluent guy. Even by today's standards, he can't call himself the wealthiest man on the planet. That honor belongs to Bernard Arnault. Arnault. Move over, Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. There's a new spender in town, and his name is Bernard Arnault. With a phenomenal network worth over $222 billion, Arnault has established himself as one of the top 10 wealthiest persons in history. What distinguishes Arnault from the other billionaires is his expensive lifestyle and a passion for excess that would make even the most flamboyant spendthrift blush. Arnault is a fashion world expert with a portfolio of 70 fashion companies ranging from the most luxurious to those catering to the standard population and thrift store fans. His business spans clothing and accessories to wines, pastries, cosmetics, and perfumes. Arnault is the ultimate fashionista's fantasy, and his impact reaches far beyond the runway. Arnault appreciates the most excellent things when he isn't busy operating his fashion company. He notably spent a mind-boggling $150 million on a luxury yacht, where he could escape the bright world of fashion with his family. This ultra-luxurious boat is the ultimate extravagance, where every day seems like a journey into the lap of luxury. Arnault enjoys flexing his financial skills in the real estate market. He owns a 150-year-old castle near Medoc Brimming with luxurious elements such as precious metals and beautiful artwork. He lives in an 18th-century palace on the Seine River's banks, complete with a private park, tennis court, swimming pool, wine cellar, and a private lake. He knows how to enjoy life. Despite his excesses, Arnault is more than just a man of luxury. He's also a business strategist with a good eye for investments. His ascension began with acquiring failing businesses, which he turned into thriving operations. The legendary Louis Vuitton Moat Hennessy LVMH demonstrates his financial acumen. Bernard Arnault, the man who represents the synthesis of money, taste, and business skills, is a living legend, carving his name alongside the wealthiest people in history. As the curtains draw on today's billionaires, let us travel further back in time to examine the world of Mansa Musa, an emperor whose wealth was so vast that it remains unparalleled even by today's standards. Mansa Musa, the world's richest man. Mansa Musa's name echoes through the ages as a monument to incredible wealth and grandeur. Mansa Musa, born on the 13th century, was the monarch of the Mali Empire, one of West Africa's most prominent and wealthiest empires. His rule is synonymous with money, and his fabled trip to Mecca will be remembered as one of the most lavish exhibitions of wealth the world has ever seen. Mansa Musa's wealth was mainly acquired from the Mali Empire's immense resources, rich in gold and salt. These goods were in high demand worldwide, and Mansa Musa dominated production and commerce, amassing an unfathomable fortune. His fortune was so vast that it is nearly impossible to calculate precisely. However, Arab historian Ali Omari, who recounted Mansa Musa's pilgrimage, provided insight into the magnitude of his wealth. According to Al Omari, Mansa Musa was accompanied by a procession of attendants, soldiers, and heralds. Thousands of warriors were clad in magnificent silk and brocade for the caravan, and the emperor himself was decorated with gold and silk, displaying his limitless wealth. Mansa Musa's travel led him through several places, including Cairo, where his lavish spending reportedly created economic instability. He distributed gold to the nearby, lavish presents, and erected mosques. Mansa Musa's generosity was so unusual that it left an indelible imprint on the areas he visited. While it is challenging to quantify Mansa Musa's wealth, historians frequently refer to it as incalculable or immeasurable. Currently, some estimates place Mansa Musa's wealth at more than $400 billion, making him the wealthiest individual in history by a wide margin. His legacy lives on as a symbol of splendor and a reminder of the tremendous wealth that once flowed across West Africa's ancient trading routes. As we go through history, we encounter a rich tapestry of wealth, ambition, and excess. From contemporary billionaires like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk to historical titans like Alan the Red and Bernard Arnault, 
While each age has its definition of wealth, from conquest-derived riches to modern-day tech empires, the fundamental principle remains the same – the pursuit of grandeur, power, and a legacy that lasts generations. Whether it's Elon Musk's intergalactic ambitions, Bernard Arnault's fashion empire, or Mansa Musa's legendary wealth, these individuals stand as testaments to the limitless possibilities that enormous fortunes can unlock. Although names and landscapes change, the attraction of extraordinary money continues to grab the human imagination, propelling individuals to new heights of accomplishment and renown. As we consider the wealthiest people in history, we should consider the intricate interplay of factors contributing to their wealth, innovation, entrepreneurship, wise investments, conquest, and control over essential resources. Others have enjoyed the unrestrained luxury of a life lived at the peak of opulence, while others have used their fortunes for philanthropy and societal effect. The biographies of these enormous affluent individuals are simply a few brushstrokes in the broad mosaic of human history, leaving an indelible impression on the canvas of time. The dynamics of society, the economy, and ambition constantly change, forming the desire of wealth in all its manifestations, a constant aspect of human experience. When we consider the extravagant lifestyles of contemporary billionaires or the incredible wealth of historical figures, we are astounded by the actual wealth they amassed and the enduring legacy they left behind. The stories of history's wealthiest people provide windows into different eras, reflecting the goals, successes, and excesses that define the human pursuit of affluence. As we sail the currents of time, one can't help but wonder who will be revealed in the next chapter of this narrative of wealth and grandeur. Will it be a creative entrepreneur, a savvy investor, or someone who, like Mansa Musa, rises from a remote part of the earth with unfathomable wealth? Only time will tell as the wealth narrative unfolds, weaving new threads into the vast fabric of human history.